Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. What do you have for Thanksgiving? Turkey. <laughs> huh? Chicken. Oh. The, um, the, who knows? Who knows? Uh, uh, peanuts. The cartoon, the, the comic strip Peanuts, right? One time, Charlie is talking to uh, Snoopy. Was it Snoopy? Yes. And Snoopy has been complaining. Compl Snoopy is saying like, you know, all my life I've been eating dog food. Dog food, dog food, dog food. It's Thanksgiving and I'm eat, still eating dog food. And Charlie went back to him and said, you know what, you're lucky. At least you're not a turkey. <laughs> so tonight, uh, this morning, I just wanna let you know that they came by to remind a soul, maybe my soul, maybe your soul, that no matter what happens in your life today, but no matter what happened in your life in the past, no matter how difficult life has treated you, no matter how tiny your bank account figures are, no matter how depressed you think you are, no matter the trouble, the, hard, the hardships, the difficulties you have experienced, there is always a reason to be thankful. Amen. That is the message, and you can close your eyes and doze off, it's okay. God is our reason to be thankful. His grace is our reason to be thankful. Amen. Grace is given for free so that no man may boast, not that we have attained it or worked for it. It is given for free so that the name of the Lord will be glorified. Amen. Thanksgiving, ilang taon na po ang Thanksgiving sa United States? How long have you been celebrating Thanksgiving? Do we even know why there is a Thanksgiving holiday? Be honest, tell me, do we know why there is a Thanksgiving holiday? Right? That's good. Do we celebrate that reason it was originally created for? Right? How many of us really pray? How, 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 how long do we... How long do we feast on the table during Thanksgiving? How long do you watch a Super Bowl during Thanksgiving? Oh, is there a Super Bowl on Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what I, what I mean is like, there's too much things, there's too much marrying, but how much Thanksgiving, how much act of thanking God is there happening every day? I think, or some people are saying, it's not even, it's not Thanksgiving anymore. It's Thanksgiving. Right? These are the figures. Thank you for the figures, Karina. 53 million going to meet the family. And more than that, there are 4 billion. This is a very highly, is a huge industry every year. And just in the United States, 4 billion is spent last year. And we, we have yet to receive the figures for this year. But 4 billion was spent last year between the Thanksgiving Day and the, the Friday. What's the, what's called that? Black, Black Friday? Friday? Black Friday. I don't even know why it's called Black Friday. Right? And then 19.6 billion for the five days from the 23rd. Let me, let me, I want to make sure I, I, I get this right. From November 23rd to November 27th. Huge business. But you know what? Thanksgiving is a little bit waning. That's a little bit of bad news. Why? Because one of the holidays that happens in the year has far exceed the spending of Thanksgiving. What is it? Halloween. Halloween. Halloween, last year is nine billion. Double the amount of uh, Thanksgiving spending. Why am I telling you all these facts? There is still goodness in Thanksgiving. It's not just Thanksgiving. We love our family. It's one day of the year when we can go together. Christmas and New Year, sometimes we don't even go together, but Thanksgiving, we do celebrate, and we love the fact that the American society, the American you know, Republic legislated that holiday. We appreciate that. Um, there was one, I was, I've was i been doing research on the benefits of gratitude. And that's what I want to bring to you this morning. Of being thankful. And there was one that I saw that you know, summarized about 40, research over 40 years about gratitude. Now, let me break down a few of them today. All right, 31 benefits of gratitude. All right, 31 benefits of gratitude. And this guy made a some kind of a chart of all the benefits. And the central to gratitude is happiness, right? Very much, very much uh, connected to our, to the American dream. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. The first one, 
Gratitude makes us happier. True? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Whether we like, we like it or not, the scripture says so. And maybe I think some or most of us will definitely say, gratitude makes us happier. The statistics are there. I'm not going to mention all of them. There's a lot of them. Right? Gratitude makes people like us. Yeah. And who wants to be seated with someone who grumbles and complains every minute? It's just going to suck your energy away. We People want someone who's happy, lively, who's thankful. Right? Gratitude makes us healthier. Statistics are there. More, many of you here are um, um, medical practitioners or someone involved with the, 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 the healthcare industry. And I think we have a famous doctor named... Who's, who's the guy who was... Uh, I, sorry? There was a guy that I was just looking at it the other day with my kids. Come on, you know him. Patch Adams. Patch Adams believed that happiness, being laughter and happiness, will heal all the illnesses. Right? Maybe not all, but most of the illnesses. The Bible even says, a happy heart does good like a medicine. Gratitude develops our personality. Gratitude strengthens our emotions. Gratitude develops... Oh, I think the other one, I'm so sorry. This number four is gratitude. Uh, gratitude develops or, or helps our career. At work, a grateful person will always be noticed by the bosses. You will always have find a way, you know, a, a, a great, grateful personality will always, have, uh, will always find a way to be noticed and probably have a higher chances of getting promoted. Well, there's a lot more. Um, those, those are the, last, the rest of them. From 7 to 31. These are all. Gratitude makes us optimistic, reduces materialism, increases spiritualism, makes us less self-centered, increases self-esteem. What more could you ask for? It improves your sleep, keeps you away from the doctor, lets you live longer, increases your energy levels, makes you more likely to exercise. Okay, someone needs to exercise. <laughs> Gratitude helps you bounce back, makes you feel good, makes, you, makes our memories happier, right? When we are a little bit older, you know, what we do is just reminisce the past, right? Gratitude reduces feelings of envy, helps us relax, makes you friendlier, may, helps your marriage, makes you look good, helps you make friends, deepen, deepens your friendship. Sometimes, bakit yung wala ka niyo po? Huh? Mas pogi pa ako, pero mas maganda yung girlfriend niya. Yung missis niya. Because he is a happy person. People like to stick with a happy person. Jesus Christ is a happy person. A lot of, a lot of the stories portray Jesus as a solemn, down-faced person. No. Every time he touches a life, or even just passing by, that, that person will experience extreme happiness. A divine happiness. Gratefulness for all the grace and blessing and forgiveness that the Lord bestows in his life. Amen. Gratitude makes you more effective manager. Gratitude helps your network. Gratitude increases your goal achievement. Gratitude improves your decision making and increases your productivity. A lot of things. Nothing. Now here's the, here's the statistics. But it's been written before the statistics. 1910. Nothing tends to, to tends more to promote health of the body and of the soul than does the spirit of gratitude and praise. It is a positive duty to resist melancholy, discontented thoughts and feelings, such as a duty it is to pray. We are told always, most of the time, that prayer is what? It's the breath of life. We breathe in prayer, but Ellen G. White says, the spirit of prophecy says, Gratitude is as important to thee as praying. There was a song that says, Lord, I breathe in your glory. I exhale your praise. That's gratitude. If we are heaven, down, heaven bound, how can we go as a band of mourners groaning and complaining all along the way to our Father's house? Come on. Do you remember this group of people? Right? What happened to them? Going to the promised land? Should supposed to take them only four days? How long did it take them? Okay. You see, when we labor, when we do something, when we're happy doing it, time passes and we don't even know it. But we we'll keep on grumbling. 
Come on. It feels like eternity. It feels like forever. What is gratitude, by the way? Balik tayo dun sa kinuha ko lang yan sa Google. Pakitranslate. <laughs> kinuha ko lang yan sa Google, right? But the most important thing, I'd like to mention are two words here. Gra gratitude has a root word, gratus. The similar root word of the word gratis. What is gratis? Free. Free. You see, when someone gives you something for free, how do you feel? That is gratitude. Right? So this is, this is really the root word of being thankful. I don't deserve anything. I'm just so excited. I'm elated. I got something for free. You know, I can afford things. The things that I want to. But when someone gives something for free, it's a different kind of experience. Especially most of you, many of you, I think, mahilig kayo tayong, kayo, kayo mahilig magbigay. Kayo mahilig malibre. Pero pag kayo na libre, o nabigyan minsan, ang sarap ng pakaramdam. Right? Right. Right. It's, doesn't happen very often. Gratitude is appreciation and affirmation of goodness, mostly goodness outside of you or gifts outside of you that you receive. Right? Now the question is, do you have enough to be thankful for? Do we have enough to be thankful for? Right? Magkano? Pagka 1 million na yung pera sa banko, saka na akong magpapasalaman. Saka na akong magiging masaya. Ngayon, pagtatrabaho muna ako at kakayuri ko ang trabaho ko. Pakitranslate. Someone is saying, right, I'll be thankful by the time my bank account is as fat as one million. For now, no smiles, no nothing, just focus, make money. Is that okay? Is that okay? Huh? Do I have enough? Here. This is the most popular number. 3,573 3, Bible Promises. That came from Bible Info. So you have enough for nine years and nine months. Just one promise a day, it will take you nine years and nine months. How long have you been depressed? How long have you been under the war? How long have you been, you know, scouring for food? Is there anyone who did that? The Bible said, uh, the psalmist says, I, have, I was young and now I was old. I've never seen anyone, the righteous, beg for food, nor their children go starving. Amen. Right? Another, another statistic says, you know, padami ng padami. Right? The more you look at the Bible, the more you see something from Bible Gateway, it says there are 5,467 Bible promises. How long can it last? Right? 14 years, 11 months, 22 days. And then another book by Her Herbert Lockyer says there are more than 8,000. And it will last you for 20, almost 22 years. How long can you be depressed? How long can you keep grumbling? Man. Right? Did you know that there are 23,000 breaths every day? Approximately. When was the last time you ever said thank you for one of them? When was the last time you said, God, thank you, I'm breathing? When I was nine years old, I can still remember, I could hardly sleep. Every night I sleep in my bed. For some reason I sleep in my bed. I don't want to sleep. Ask me why. Because I'm catching my breath. I'm scared. I was afraid that I will stop breathing. Really, that was my experience. I don't know if it's an insanity or a sort. But I was there lying, this nine-year-old boy. I don't want to sleep because I'm scared. How my lungs will stop breathing. If I breathe every day, 23,000 times. How many times I have thanked the Lord for it? Are you now convinced that there is enough reason to be thankful? And I'm sure someone of you has something to say. Is there anyone? Maybe you should open it for a minute. Is there something you want to be thankful for? I know the Lord is talking to you. The Holy Spirit is calling you right now. Who wants to join me here? It's all right. Is there someone who want to say thank you to God? Come on. What are you thankful for?
Thank you so much, my brother. You see, you connected to me. I was having goosebumps when you saying regular words, but I felt your heart. And your, your son also felt you. Before you raised your hand, he was already raising his hand. Anyone else? The Holy Spirit is talking to you right now. Say something. Do you only say something? You know, like when you go to the parks, right? The parks say, when you see something, say something. But those are the negative things you want to talk about. But say something. Yeah, thanks Pardon. for this uh, young church. Yeah. The hopefully this church is made more members and grow, grow and grow. Praise the Lord. Do you still remember the first time you were counted? I wasn't even here. It's the Holy Spirit talking to you as a family with simple desire, right? To have a worship for the family. Worship's a Friday, Wednesday, Saturday afternoon. And look at what we have right now. Praise the Lord. What else? Who else? Please. Thank you for new friends we met today. And thank you for the presence of God in this place. Praise Amen. the Lord. You are most welcome every Sabbath when we are here or any gathering. Please feel free to come. Thank you. New friends. What else? One or two more? Kids? What are you thankful for? This is what the spirit of inspiration says. No tongue can express, no finite mind can conceive the blessings that results from appreciating the goodness and love of God that is so constantly shown us that we are grateful for the mercies and favors bestowed upon us and that the whole soul is awakened to us. A realization of God's glory. This is the experience of someone truly thankful to God. You can almost see God's face. You can almost experience God's goodness, His glory. And let me tell you a few. Let, 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 let's 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 look at how to be thankful. Do you know who these people are? Thankful people. What did Hannah do? She doesn't have a kid. She was praying to the Lord. She would have a, she would have a son. But she didn't keep her son to herself. She gave it back to God after he was born. thankful. You see, thankfulness, look at the action of being thankful. He she offered the kid back to God. She was thankful. Second, who's this guy? He was so thankful for everything that God has done to him. Forgiven him, restored him, cleansed him, created a new heart in him. Now God told him, you are not worthy. Stop dreaming that you're going to build my house. You can't do that. Your hands are dirty. It's filled with blood. But what did he say? God, I'm not worthy. But you are glorious. Let me be the one to prepare the way. He pumped up all the necessary things. He created the plan. He downloaded God's vision. But being thankful, he did not pursue what he really wants. He said, God, let your will be done. My son will build it for you. Next guy. Sinful woman. Do you know her? They call her the Magdalene, but we are not very sure. She is a named person in the Bible. What did she do? She was even rebuked, right? Why did you waste one year worth of labor? And everybody knew that she was a sinful woman. Right? Doing that for a year and then just going to break it and spill it and waste it. Thankfulness. She was so thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ that she is willing to give everything she has. And that will also remind us of another woman with two mites. Thankfulness. She gave up everything. There's an unnamed leper. Out of them, he came back. See? Unnamed. Quoted in the Bible. Maybe if we are thankful, one of these days will be in the book. Our story will live forever. And people will feast on our story and be encouraged. Let us be thankful. Number five, a maverick preacher. Who is this guy? He was saying, I've been beaten and tried in life. You know, I've been crossing between life and death every single day. But in abundance and in poverty, 
in hunger and in plenty, I thank the Lord for it. In death and life, I thank the Lord. And he gave his whole life to serve God. Amen? Amen. You see, what's the, what's, the, what's the trend? What's the action of thankfulness? The action of thankfulness is not having. It is not buying. It is giving up. It is giving away. It is pushing out. That's thankfulness. When was the last time we were thankful? When was the last time we gave the whole treasure that we have, like the, like, 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 like the rich young ruler? When was the last time God challenged us, are you thankful? Give it all up. God is not asking us to give everything that we have. We have, we have mouths to feed. We have bills to pay. But God is asking our heart to give it back to Him. The Spirit of Prophecy says, why is it so hard for us to give up our hearts? When our hearts is a sin sick heart, filled with sin, filled with a lot of scars. It's deformed. It's not even, I don't know how to describe my heart right now. Look at your heart. What sin and life and challenges has done to your heart today? After 50 years, after 40 years, after 30 years, after 65 years, look at the shape of your heart right now and you are now willing to give it back to God. Let us be thankful. Thank the, act, the action of thankfulness is giving back. And like this great rest taker, do you know him? Who left the splendor of heaven, knowing his destiny was Golgotha. He will be slapped by the people he created and he wants to save. He will be mocked by the same people that he wants to redeem. What if he gave up? What if he... What if in God's money he said, you know what, no deal? Right? Do, 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 you, do you ever realize that the Son of God would ever doubt himself? He said, Father, please let this cup pass from me. What kind of words is that? He doesn't want it anymore. Father, please do not let this happen. That is his will. That Jesus Christ's will is to not let it happen. He said, Father, let not my will, but your will. This is a paradoxical. Pakasabihin nyo, heretiko na ako. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, si Kristo ayaw na niya. At a certain point in time, His humanity cries out for it. Sino ba't lalo pa naman tayo mga tao? Mahina tayo. Aayaw tayo. Bibitaw tayo. But I tell you, there is always a reason to be thankful. Jesus Christ's strategy is to say, Father, I push my will away, I receive your will. You see, he gave up his will so that there's going to be room for the Father's will. This is what the Bible is saying. There's a song that says, For the prodigal son, grace wins. For the woman of the well, grace wins. For the blind man and the beggar, grace wins. A lot, the list goes on and on. For always and forever, for the lost out on the street, for the worst part of you, for the thief of the cross, for the whole world that's lost. Grace wins. Grace that is free. Grace that we can be thankful for. It will always win in our heart. So whenever you feel like you're down, whenever you feel like you're, you're having troubles, whenever you feel that you can't get up anymore, you have too much problems, I tell you, there's so much to be thankful for. The grace of God is free. Thank God for it. Amen. Someone right here. Someone right here is experiencing thankfulness. Someone right here in our midst. The Holy Spirit is talking to you right now and telling you to be thankful. Making you realize the greatness of God has done for your life that sometimes you forget. And I'm one of you. Right? So every morning, this is the prayer that I ask my children to pray. Thank God for one more day. Thank God for one more chance, one more hope, one more love, and one more breath. The next breath may be gone. Right? I challenge you this morning. Let us open our hearts to God and receive His grace. There's so much to be thankful for when we receive it. What is our response? It is the law of nature 
and our thoughts and feelings are encouraged and strengthened as we give utterance. While words express thoughts, it is also true that thoughts follow words. If we would give more expression to our faith, rejoice more in the blessings that we know we have, the great mercy and the love of God. What's the blessing that we know we have? It's not even talking about money. It is qualified. The grace that is the great mercy and love of God, that's the blessing that we have. We should have more faith. And what? Amen. Be grateful in the Lord, and I say it again. Be grateful. One more time. Be grateful. One more time. Be grateful. God bless all of us. Amen. Amen.